Let's check a new mod everybody's talking about that has a Tommy Cave and are you just kidding me? Pax Britannica Imperial Timeline, 2 gigs. That must be the right one. Am I correct here? The only thing more heroic than death in battle is death furthering the goal of Romania. <laughs> <laughs> Play alone, I don't have friends. New game, free focus trees. George V in Britannia. Germany under Rudolf II. And we have France with Jacques Dorioir. And we are going with the Germans. Tommy K. Bent can't say no to it. The United Kingdoms of Germany, oh, are in the center of Europe and so influenced by all. With victory in the Great War, Germany finally became a, the second strongest colonial power and had a chance to create great impacts on history, such as Britain and Russia. However, uh, experiencing another political lockdown and suffering another economic crisis. Every game ever starts with an economic crisis. So Germany is like in Kaiserreich, very strong. Makes me kind of want to play the UK, but ah, we're playing Germany. We have the Long Depression, just like like uh, in real life, the Lipertin culture. Germany's reputation as a cultural melting pot continues into modernity. With the liberalization reforms of Kaiser Rudolf, starkly contrasted with the conservatism of his father, Germany has become a beacon of social, scientific, and cultural progress in Europe. Which is, am I playing a technocrat's voice? Enough dead heroes for the end of time. Germany stood among the victors of the Great War, further cementing the nation as one of the preeminent world powers and finally breaking the perfidious bourbons. More than a decade later, many are still war weary. Germany suffered tremendous losses throughout the war, with millions laying down their lives in the trenches of Flanders and Elsass to achieve victory. Well, only three nations are done yet, so we're gonna stay here. Ay, 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 that's a big fucking Germany. United Kingdoms of Germany, Alter. United Kingdoms of Germany features United Europe under one banner. Manage the state of federation, oh god. Maintain Germany's vast empire, become a continental European hegemon, set Germany on the path of economic greatness. Decisions, ach du lieber Himmel. Yo, Alter, walla ciao, eh. The United Kingdom of Germany is a federation of German states under which many former Austrian aligned kingdoms have maintained autonomy under their local rulers. Though once this decentralized system transformed Germany into a center of political thought and culture, now autonomy has become a crutch for the German state. The ongoing economic depression has reignited the nationalism in many of the strongest German states, some of whom have begun acting on their own. In order to pass meaningful reforms and maintain stability, unrest in the major kingdoms must be kept below 50% in order to pass centralization reforms. These reforms will prevent further unrest and at least in that regard stabilize. Germany and development. Social development is a rough metric of various factors in a country. Decisions made throughout the campaign will possibly make the effect on the same maximum level of cool stuff will happen. Okay, got it. Got it. It looked like they kept it simple. They kept it basic. I I, I don't like when they go too far and every you have to relearn everything. Okay, that looks nice. Simplistic. Yo, Automech augments combat uh, is that a monster? Bro, do we have fucking Zorklings? All I see is maidens, man. While never seen wartime service, the Interwars saw many gearheads experiment on themselves. Are oh, these are like cyberpunk people? Chasing the perpetually unachievable high of being faster, stronger, and deadlier. This practice led to the development of Razor Maidens, a unique class of special operations units largely composed of heavily augmented women. I see. I... I just say rule 37. Okay. Bang. You wanna see my itty bitty bunny milkies? No. Bro, we're gonna make sexy girls that kill people, man. Terror weapons. Terror weapon research is now available. Basic toxic chemical compound. Life wire deployment. Laboratory germ growth. Alter, what? This building improves the food situation and gives plus three population growth, which pretty much gives you manpower. Fuel silo. Mineral fabricator makes you steal. Medical facility. Population, chance to get sick, what the fuck? And, oh, research campus, oh me likey, oh me likey likey. What happened to Italy, bro? I have no idea. See what happens, wait, I have a focus tree. <gasps> oh shit, okay, uh, dude, everything is open. Nothing is like stuck or anything. Ay -yay 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 -yay. Okay, British African authority. Okay, whatever the fuck is going on here. Ay -yay -yay. California Republic, under Zalazar, Jacobina, Texas. Who's leading Russia? Nicholas II, the great Qing Empire with is that Puji? Was that Beijing? What's the timeline? It's like steampunkish Tesla punk.
And good attrition. French Republic falls. The French Republic has been plagued by violence and instability since it was first convinced of the Treaty of Tours. Now the final nail has been driven into France's failed experiment with Republican democracy. Look at Libya. Thank you. What do you mean look at Libya? Okay, what the fuck is that? They've they flooded it or so dude, don't ask. I think they've there's also a lake here? French troops in Lorraine. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. The French army has entered the demilitarized region of Lorraine and are closing in on our common border. This blatant breach of the peace treaty after the war deserves retaliation. Intended by the imperial powers to prevent France from posing a threat to German hegemony, it served as a con constant reminder of France's humiliating defeat in the Great War. This morning, French troops, though, marched in. Jacques Doriot declared to the international community that the days of the French weakness are over. We're going to militarize the border here with our first little attachment. Kaiser Rudolf abdicates the throne. <gasps> when the news reached the people, most did not know how to respond. Confused, sad, maybe fearful. When was the last time a Kaiser abdicted? Did that ever happen? Now, people were remembering one important detail surrounding all of this. The Kaiser had only one heir. His daughter, Elizabeth Marie. I'm playing Elizabeth? After 250 years, a woman could again come to bear the title of Kaiser. However, Kaiser innen, bitte. However, everyone knew she would not become the next Maria Theresa. The public, and especially her greatest doubters, call her the Red Princess. That she believes in the values of socialism, peace and unity. Despite being forbidden to join a party, she has several contacts and friends in the Labour Party. Oh no! Despite protests and several politicians, of several suggestions, Rudolf insisted that she would succeed him as Kaiserin. And so, when all Germans were able to see the coronation of their new Kaiser on television, it is not unfounded to say that they had the same thoughts in these moments. Empress of Austria, Empress of the United Kings of Germany, Queen of Bohemia, as well as Queen of Hungary, of Dalmatia, of Croatia and Slovenia, of Lodomeria and Illyria, the Queen of Jerusalem and so forth. Where's Wilhelm when you need him? Hey, I trust in the woman. Okay, I have my first. Okay, there's a sign that shows it. With the fall of the government, new elections have been scheduled to the to the people can decide on the government. In approximately one month, the elections will be held. So the imagine like historic Germany ever would have been this big man. Germany will be like a different timelines USA in a way. And I don't mean a Nazi is degree, like it would have hit the one. No, no, I mean like earlier before that. Socialist Bismarck World Conquest. I feel like I let you guys decide who wins the election. So you guys are role-playing my citizens. Uh wave the red flag. Liberal values overall. We want true Germany, which is kind of the anti-Semitic hardcore path. It was so fucking crystal clear, man. It was so clear you want to be funny. Is Tommy K a racist streamer? Uh, in that one stream, he was actually... <laughs> I'm gonna go for Bismarck, man. I want to fight that nationalistic, nationalist stuff. Come on, man. Can we raise some people for Bismarck here for the red flag? We could probably have a second round. Yeah, we're gonna do a second round. Okay, this post done strong. Oh god, here we go. Three minutes. Every election is rigged, you muppets. Stop the count. I think we're done here. Yeah. Oh shit! Talk to the Kaiser. Since faking the f taking the throne, Elizabeth has openly supported many charitable causes, including more rights for workers, suffrage for women, and better living and working conditions for the German poor. Gaining her support will be a valuable asset not only to increasing our control of the German, but to spreading our message to the German people. Uh, dock workers in Kosten demand higher salaries. No one that's left behind. I'm always doing their demands. I will help the workers. The Hirschfeld Institute. The political and social upheaval of the interwar years produced a vibrant community of theorists in Germany. Of material was Magnus Hirschfeld, a leading figure in sexual studies are we going lgbtq hd plus already spectrum sexuality argues for the idea of gender and sexual preference as a fluid concept and independent of one another going against the traditional sexology studies of the subject oh i'm gonna be in trouble here man in addition to this hirschfeld has been a prominent advocate of homosexual rights throughout germany often butting heads a lot of butting <laughs> they will have to make do with their current funding Fund them even more. You see that, Twitch? I am funding the gender spectrum. Did you see that? The problem is these guys are getting madder and mad at me. And the more they get mad at me, the more PP I lose. Bavaria Enterprise frees about race taxes. I need to reduce the unrest. I have to. Bavaria is unrested at 25. I have to make concessions with barbarians. I cannot afford unrest. But political power is dying, man. Shocking revelations have come across from the Western Hemisphere from the Commonwealth of America that large migration westwards has occurred, as what seems to be a revolutionary great trek. Reports say that many aspects of Jacobin loyalists and socialists have decided to join the Great March West to establish what they call American Utopia. Free Freedonia. That sounds so American. Second Continental Army. It's like Fallout over here. New Zeon. Oh, shit. The Rockefellers. The Rockefellers have their own state, man. Okay, in eight days, I fixed my first stage of recovery. The girls have mad soft attack. Bro, let's make some, let's make some Razor Maidens, bruh. 
Let's let's get some women action in here. We're playing a feminist Germany, man. Everything women. Replace full equality for women. There we go. Feminist run. The Filipino stalemate. The brutal terrain of the Philippines does not favor our armies, and we have been in stalemate with the Filipino insurgents. Oh shit. Alter, do I want to go to the Philippines? I kind of want to, huh? We are at war. Befreiungskorps! That's like German. Das philippinische Befreiungskorps! Wir kommen und wir werden es schon rechten mit, mit dem alten Heinz, Alter! Jawohl, du! I'm a German streamer. I always act really over the top to make all my 12-year-old fans really like my stream. Get your mom's credit card and subscribe right now! Click the f***ing button, you... Heinz is almost here. That was very fast. Heinz Guderian over here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. And we're landing in Manila. Ma Manila. Uh, two sifts, two mills, and unrest. I'm just really focusing on this shit right here now. Crazy madman in Halle. A madman has gone about terrorizing the peaceful streets of Halle today, having set about vandalizing various shops, assaulting random men on the street, and having climbed atop a local church, shouting various obscenities at local law enforcement. It took local law enforcement nearly six hours to detain this lunatic who had brought terror and insanity to the peaceful city of Halle. Surprisingly, he is quite well known in the city of Halle as a local performer and director of his own theater. His name is Tom van Kastenherr. A middle-aged man who has been entering the loyal visitors of his theater for years. Enter entertaining. His stories and plays have received widespread critical acclaim for the ability to strike a balance between raw emotions and comedy. What horrible change has occurred to this man's mind that has turned him from one of the greatest up-and-coming answers in Germany to a ravaging lunatic? Uh, chat. <coughs> it is rumored that the expectations of his shows were constantly growing and eating away his nerves and soul. <laughs> this is way too real. His most ardent supporter have turned to cultish adoring him in ways which to outsiders will appear more like mockery as he has regressed into an incoherent state where he just rambles on about weird military accomplishments undead people castles and vikings what should we do to this madman put him into the local insane asylum sex and unrest is reduced by 10 <laughs> i donate <laughs> Dear God, he escaped. <laughs> I I can't do that though. I have to play good. We have to put him into the asylum, man. Fixing Zaxxon, man. Tommy K has been stopped, man. You inspired me to get Hoi 4, so that event is a kind of a thank you to you. Thank you, man. I'm very humbled, man. That's very, very... Thank you, man. Very kind of you. Let's kill this guy and then set up the illusions. It's open. Okay, let's, fix, let's finish this war ASAP. Finish this war. Too many already died for this. But if people are not so far... Looks really promising, man. If they work on our focus trees and stuff, this looks really fun. The innovation is going. I got the Razor Maidens, boys. We're getting the girls. Reconnaissance or initiative or soft attack. Could imagine you're, you're a soldier. You trained your whole life. You're on the battlefield. And suddenly the sexiest eagle ever is like, And she has a grenade and she's like, And you're like, take me! I actually won the Philippine War. Hey, look at that. You're dead, man. Come on. Unfortunately, our desire for peace in Europe is threatened by enemies across the continent. The revanchist in France plot and scheme to get revenge against our victory in the Great War and reverse the gains of our heart equals one <laughs> victory. Already they have rearmed in a contravention of post-war treaties and gathered allies to prepare for the intended destruction of Germany. Ooh. Even worse, even Russia wants to fuck us. It's time to rearm. A single spark will set up an explosion that will consume us all. I cannot tell you when that explosion will occur, but I can tell you where. Some damned foolish thing in the Balkans will set it all off. Did no way he said that. He fucking said that in real life? No way. Dude, the fucker predicted World War One. Ruskala protocols. I'm literally making murder geishas. I'm, I'm, razor manes have been augmented with chameleon DNA, allowing these femme fatales to change the color of their skin. And the sexy geisha comes in. She has the same color as the wall, and she's like, "Hello, darling." And you're like, "And you're so, you're so horny that you just let her kill her man." I think that will be the storyline with a lot of people here. Woo! Continue centralization. Finally, man, the effects of unrest will be reduced. The Bundestag gridlock is reduced. 25% more PP. Fuck yeah, I think. France took Brittany. She is getting Brittany false. A prelude to greater action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting my favorite twos. Das Deutsche Wunder! 
The drum in the United Kingdom is known as the Drum Federation. Infinite war support and stability. Frankfurt becomes a really big city. And with our centralization reforms complete, we are now ready to implement an even more ambitious plan to fundamentally reform German politics. The new Federation Act, if passed, will amend the German constitution to abolish much of the old feudal structures. Number two. And I have two ways of army. Support the reform group or support the traditionalists? Well, obviously, I would like to be reformed and modern, so we will go with the left. Best German player, Marcus Andre, 28th man. Shit, they're taking Bologna now? I thought shit is getting actually really scary now. France declares their claims on the Dutch. Oh. Alexandra, women power, we have to fuck up the patriarchy, man. What the fuck? Guarantee Deutschland. France gets the event. Germany defends the Dutch. I'm gonna defend them. No appeasement, man. No appeasement. If they wanna fucking die for this, fucking die for it. Deutschland, man. Women's power. Negotiates with the Czech Legion. I wanna probably lose the Czech unrest, so let's do that. No more unrest. I have no more PP at all. Okay. Call to arms? Wait, it's happening? Oh, I'm at war. It's happening. Oh, God. The Dutch crisis escalates. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You should probably reload. I think you're just a French man. You need to shut the fuck up, man. This guy wants to give away the Dutch man. And I think I have great openings. I just need my orc man. This this war has really um, caught me off guard. With France now threatening the speed of Europe, our nation's mere existence under the threat question of whatever we should join Britain and stopping the Franco-Russian alliance is no longer a question of it. Britain is joining. Okay, thank you. Scheiße. Wait, Italy joined? Italy joined. There we go. Italy's going in. That's good. That's good. I see great openings here, like here. And I have great air, man. I think, I, I think I'm going to shit on France. To be honest, I think... I was thinking about that for a while. A problem that a lot of mods have like this is that the player is too strong. I think AI is too weak and I'm going to completely destroy France right now. Yeah, France is going to get wrecked here, man. Weiter, weiter. Yeah, we're shitting on him. I have almost green air without even building air at all. So this seems rather easy. Yeah, we're just breaking through everywhere. And you know, I didn't even have to do any good divisions. I didn't build any air and I'm shitting on this. That is sometimes the problems with these mods. But this is a very fresh mod. Don't want to talk shit, right? It's a very fresh mod. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I think I just shit on this now. So one thing I will tell the devs, and I know you're watching devs, and obviously no shit talking, but I think you, I don't know how you will do it, but you can make this a bit harder. Like France is kind of the villain here, right? Like give him more divisions or something? I, I don't know. Free for the rest of the stream. Here comes Russia. We're getting a bit spread, obviously, but dude, we're just shitting on this right now. I, I gotta fix uh, Prussia real quick, which should be happening from this army here. I need you guys to remind me always if there's new updates. Kaiserreich, uh, Millennium Dawn submods, Old World Blues. I'm kind of depending on you guys that you tell me when certain mods are getting updated. And I, I, I don't check that myself. Fall of Paris already. Yeah, I'm not gonna wreck this. And once I won the war, I can do the victory focus tree. That's kind of cool that they have a focus tree for that. And then in the end, you unite all of Europe. A lot of mods AI just don't build a lot of planes, which pretty much means they die in modern high 4. So maybe a solution would be to give them more base AI in the beginning? I, I don't know. Uh, not base AI, base air, sorry. I don't know how you how to balance mods. I'm not a mod developer. I don't know how we'll do that. I have no idea. From Federation, the Allies have defeated the state of France and the Allies in the Second Great War. You still have to fight the Russians, though, so let's work on that. Having Rommel. Oh, uh, oh, man, he had the fucking. Jesus. He had. Oh, my God. See, okay. Special. Razor Maidens. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? One sec, one sec, one sec. Here they are, man. Oh, the girls. Because girls, we just want to have fun. I could put some tripods in them. We could make the ultimate Pax Britannica uh, division. 50% girls, 50% tripods. Like, the girls are like. And then you get to close, boom, a fucking tripod comes and shoots you to shreds, man. And we're just gonna try to make a little... AI just can't keep up with a good high 4 player, man. You just encircle everything. And now with like a slow attack, slowly though. To look for openings. Okay, we're shitting on that hard. We'll probably encircle all of this. Yeah, we're just wrecking this, man. Well, again, I don't want to shit on the mod. The mod is very fresh. Obviously needs tweaking. Uh, that's why you, you, you run tests like this. I still think this mod obviously has crazy potential, man. It's always mind-blowing to me that Hoi 4 is so old and people still make massive mods like this four years later. Five years later, almost. I'm getting closer to... Unfortunately, I can't really use them. We're winning without them. Take a look at the stats. 40 with nice speed, amazing. This is a very good division, man. Let's make the Tesla punks, man. They're actually considered special units. 600 soft attack is gonna shit on everyone in single player, yeah. Oh, Crimea is a bit weird here in this. That's interesting. What's happening in Constantinople? Uh, Istanbul is Russian in this mod. Okay, let's look at the tripods at least. Where did they take that model from? Is that from uh, Iron Harvest or whatever it's called? Let's let's see if that actually makes sense. Yeah, they're ultra strong, man. 250, soft attack, no breakthrough. And then these guys? Yeah, this is a very good division, man. Very, very strong, man. The Razor Maidens. That's literally uh, women that 
look sexy and kill you. Just for that, this mod is 10 out of 10, dude. At least you die with a boner. Hey, at least, hey, if you die, at least you have a boner. I just want to see uh, the uh, Victory in Europe event. I want to see that event. Oh, shit. British Mandate of Moscow and Stalingrad. And Russia just beaten. Now we get the Victory in Europe event. Russia seeks armistice. The war situation has not developed necessarily to Moscow's advantage. Having lost control of the major western cities in the League of Nations and with the Japanese pressing the east, Russia had to give up the beer finally the bear finally cries and then in the end if you played you get the federated states of euro kind of the goal in real life huh okay that was kind of our first try off pax britannica ended a bit fast but big big fun man